that video got a million views in three days, which was very That's insane, dude. Impressive. This is my friend Nick, and today he's going to show us the methods he's used to create 11 videos with over 1 million views, and over 112 videos with over 100,000 views. And this is all despite the fact that when Nick started his channel, it took him six years just to reach his first 1,000 subscribers. It's been a lot of hard work where I don't have any free time to do anything else but my work in YouTube, but it definitely pays off. So how how did Nick do it? Well, let me tell you a little secret. See, most small YouTubers think that YouTube growth compounds in a linear way as you post lots of content. But often the thing is, many big creators on the platform got their big breaks just because they had one video that went viral. So what can you do to make sure your next video goes viral? Well, you deserve the truth, so I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna kill my audience retention. Nobody on the planet can predict viral content with 100% accuracy, as Gary V put it. Viral content by nature is viral and uncontrolled. I have a system to produce consistent content with the hope of it being viral. Make good content and then have your moments in time. So in this video, we're gonna to talk to Nick about the viral tactics he's followed to consistently create masses of good content that have allowed him to have his moments and blow up videos to the point where he's now had over 60 million views. I actually started in January, 2013. Back in the day, I didn't care if a video got good views or bad views. Most of my early videos don't even have a thousand views. Then four years ago, I started started doing Star Wars Rebels. It was the first Star Wars video I ever made, and it ended up being my most popular video. You look at my <laughs> video right before it, it only has like 2,000 views, but then this one has 10 times that amount. And I began to realize that, yeah, this is kind of a thing that I want to do. How you found me was you just saw one of my videos and said, well, this has potential, I'll reach out to you. And you asked me to edit some of your videos and you showed me how to use Sony Vegas, I think. It was great to work with you. And I remember you, me, and a few other people were in like a, a video call and we were talking about Among Us. I think that was the, the new game that was coming out. And I was thinking, you know, it's 2D animated. I can probably do something for that. I, I just took a gamble. And because it was trending, that video got a million views in three days, which was That's very insane, dude. impressive. When that happened, that was the moment I realized I should probably start monetizing. It's just never something I really considered. With this, I can actually, you know, create a nice side revenue for myself. And thanks to your help, I learned how to monetize it. Then by the end of 2021, I had 91,000 subs. I do have to admit when I started, even with Among Us, I never pictured hitting 100,000 subscribers. If you can remember back to the start when you were a small channel, still struggling to get views and subscribers, what actually triggered your turning point? Uh, the Among Us videos, that was just hopping on a trend, having your videos get millions of views in weeks, which was something I never even thought could happen. I want to highlight what you just said because I think this is something that slips by a lot of people. See, many YouTubers seem to think that you can just take any video, create a great title and thumbnail for it, and all of a sudden it will blow up. Boom. But a huge part of having videos go as viral as you've had them is one, your video idea itself, but then also the timing. I call this trend surfing. It's like jumping on a trend and posting a video as that trend's rising up. And from memory, on your channel, I think you actually experienced a really interesting case study of this, didn't you? Yeah, absolutely. The funny thing about this video, which is called The Clone Wars in the Nutshell, is that I actually uploaded it back in 2020, but it did not get a lot of good views. It only got about 5,000 and I took it down because I was like, okay, it's not that good. And then I re-uploaded it on 2021 and it got almost 700,000 views. It made me realize sometimes it's not a matter of a wrong video. It's just a matter of a right video at a wrong time. So how do you find the right video at the right time so you can go viral? Like where do you actually start? Definitely do research on what types of games are coming out. You can look up their release date. You can look up the trailers and stuff to see what these games entail and what to expect when you get them going forward. Okay, so let's imagine I've done all the research. I've been monitoring all the news and communities and I've found something that I think might work. In other words, I've got step one nailed down. What's the next step after that? I would have a consistent upload schedule or time. I try to upload videos 10 a.m. in the morning and I used to do it daily. I have Having a upload schedule lets people know when to expect your videos. That might be a hard ask, obviously, because people have other lives and, and other things they do, but you want to be consistent for sure. Okay, so I found a trend. I'm posting consistently around that trend. 
What's the thing you think people should direct their attention to after they've got that side of things all nailed down? Definitely having a good thumbnail is the hardest part of the video to make. It sometimes will take more time to make a thumbnail for the video than it will to make a 30 second video. It's true. Even though we bash tiles and thumbnails a bit earlier in the video, it is true. They are still absolutely essential because if people don't click, they don't watch. But all of Nick's steps that he's just talked about in this video will be completely useless if you don't actually nail trend surfing to begin with. So you should watch the video that's on the screen now because it's gonna go over everything you need to know about trend surfing so you can maximize your chances of blowing up and having viral videos just like Nick's.